Welcome to Multimeter Technology. We're going to have a quick look at a possible serving suggestion for the Multimuse Plus. Here we have the lovely Muse Plus. Mm. Completely silent, passively cooled, perfect for recording in the studio or in the living room with something like J Rivers uh, Media Server software, uh, which essentially pulls in all your audio, video, images, wherever you like, and serves it all up in a really nice little interface. But not only that, uh, one of the great things is that you can do away with the uh, with the keyboard and mouse and control it all entirely from an iPad app. So at the moment I've just got it on uh, simple navigation so I can move forwards and backwards like that. You've got different views, you can put it back into uh, the standard Windows view or the theatre display which is obviously great for televisions and then um, you can explore everything from the iPad so I can go here I can look at my albums which are all here. Let's go to there and I'm going to go play. So it plays all of them rather than just playing a single track. And I can have a look at what's just playing. And that's mirrored up here on the big screen as well. So you can swipe up and down here, choose your next track, and that's reflected on the screen. It's very easy to navigate, you have this sitting on your lap, and in fact you don't even need the, um, the screen on here, I mean you could turn this off, it makes no odds really, whether you have this on here or not. So you can control and navigate everything via the iPad interface. Transport controls down here. But also does images um, and video, uh, whatever it is you've got, whatever media you've got stuffed onto your servers. I mean, this is all currently running off uh, a little NAS drive here, which is connected to the network. So this has got large, you know, noisier hard drives inside here, which can be locked in a cupboard out of the way, so it has nothing to do with the wonderful silence of your Muse Plus here. So rather than having large noisy drives inside here, pack them away somewhere on a network and you can run it just as easily. One other option would be to use something like TeamViewer, which allows you to dial in to the Muse from your iPad or even from your phone for that matter, and you see exactly what's in screen. So in theatre mode, um, which looks like that on your main screen, uh, it's mirrored on the iPad. Like this, it's actually quite easy to navigate using the touch of a finger. So you're seeing exactly what's on there. The app perhaps is better designed for the iPad and it gives you far more information with the track listings and all those sorts of things that is built directly into the app, whereas within this I would have to find it as if I was using the mouse and keyboard. And also the sort of the swiping um, is supposed to be following the mouse around and that's not quite so elegant as it is on the app. Uh, but it's still certainly a very valid way of getting into the system and you could also use it on a phone, um, for instance, that doesn't have the J remote app like the iPad. But whichever way you access it, even if you just use a mouse and keyboard, the J River software is very elegant, is very uh, easy to use and to navigate, very intuitive. It's a great way of combining stuff. I mean, I've not seen anything quite like it since the Windows Media Center. And Windows Media Saver is very, very capable, but doesn't quite have uh, the, uh, the mastery of audio. Because this, when you import your files, it finds artwork for you, it imports all of that. All these images that have come up, I haven't added them to the system. The system has pulled these off the internet itself. So it's very, interesting piece of software and does far more than, than the Windows Media Center does. So definitely worth having a look. So that's the Muse Plus as an audio server for your living room. 
Fantastic. Thanks. See you next time.